Um, we will be speaking today about community builder and having a very first look at community builder 2.0 um, in the first uh, hour here uh, we have two sessions the second session will be with Nick and Kyle uh, for CB solutions who are also from the um, CB team the agenda is first of all uh, a presentation of who we are and where we are now and the second part will be about CB 2.0 um, you will see that things are evolution so uh, some of the things for CB 2.0 are already available now um, I'm Beat on the forum as well my first name I'm from Switzerland um, my background is in internet security at high level and um, in also reliability redundancy at aerospace level and I am active in Mambo and Joomla extension development since about six years now okay um, so as I said we have two talks in a row so we might switch to the next talk already at the end of this talk or at the beginning of the next talk it depends on how much questions we are we have here and how things go we will be available throughout the whole event for any questions and discussions so jump bumping us or make an appointment we are here to answer those questions okay um, about CB what it is um, the features the financial strategy and development strategy that we have Community Builder is today the leading social networking component for Joomla um, by far and also the longest established one. Uh, it's robust, secure and allows to have uh, large communities on uh, websites. First of all, um, people, there is a core team which is here with Kyle and with Nick and myself. Um, then we have work groups. We have the community, which is very important for us, uh, which makes what community builder is. The work groups. Um, we have five work groups. We have a CB testing work group, a group drive work group, a CB subs work group, translations, and a third party developers work group where third party developers can have um, better contact with us so if you're a third party developer join that ask to join that uh, work group as well a few facts um, CB is the most popular jo Joomla component on the jet um, it's very widely used it's stable since August 2004, where we had the first beta release. It's very secure. We only had two vulnerabilities discovered in six years of history. Last one was two years ago. So um, each release uh, is security audited, security scanned before it gets released as stable. It's also fast. We have some websites which have 5,000 users simultaneously on one single server. <laughs> so uh, compared to other social solutions, um, it has been very, very much tuned for performance. And last but not least, it's free like free beer, and it's free like open source under the GPL license. A few numbers. We have uh, 390,000 registers members on our site which um, are using community builder um, on an estimated number based on a google search on the urls of between 1 million and 2 million websites so it's uh, probably one of the uh, widest spread joomla component around also based on a google search there are about between 60 and 100 million user profiles which are public <laughs> using Community Builder. 
So with that kind of numbers, we cannot release just a CB stable release um, without extensive testing and without uh, extensive security review because that's just numbers which are at stake, which don't allow us to release something which is unstable or uns unsecure. Uh, there are over 230 plugins for Community Builder today, of which 64 are uh, team member uh, plugins. Community Builder is uh, a framework for building um, member site, community sites, which is extensible by plugins, which give features uh, as needed on the website. Its architecture is really uh, a framework architecture with a uh, CB API library with core plugins which can be extended by third party or team plugins to provide functionality um, as needed. And then we integrate these all major Joomla components extensions um, through the plugin system. And that API for us, uh, one thing that is very important is that it's extremely stable from release to release. We don't want to break backwards compatibility. So any plugin that was written two years ago, three years ago, still runs today. That's something a bit different of Joomla itself. <laughs> and CB comes with a lot of features integrated in the C in the in the free version. I'm not going to go through all that list because it would be boring. But it comes from extended registrations through membership information, approval workflows, management of user profiles with tabs, with fields, with a lot of core supported field types. Um, supporting styling in name in kind of login, you can have a login by email for Joomla, um, plugin authentications, we handle email connections between user friendships, your avatars, images, user lists, very, very flexible and very extended user lists, profile templates, which can be tableless with templating. Then we have the membership manager with the user manager, mass email to members with extended sorting and uh, filtering possibilities. We have a few modules uh, also which come with a core, all of that for free and uh, open source, of course. Uh, well, I forgot a few more, St still ticking. Private messaging integration, um, articles, Integration, forum integration also comes for free with CB. Um, and everything is built on, s on the CB API, which means that Community Builder runs still on Mambod 4.5, 4.6, <laughs> Joomla 1.0, Joomla 1.5, Joomla 1.6. That's part of our backwards compatibility because we know that user sites don't migrate as fast as Joomla and uh, maybe with Joomla 1.7 coming. Uh, some people will not even migrate to Joomla 1.6, but directly to 1.7. So that's backwards compatibility is very important. So when we commit to support a platform like Mambo or Joomla, it's, it's a long-term in, uh, in the future and long-term in the past commitment from us. Our funding strategy, all of that costs money um, and a lot of time and dedication. Um, so we have a, a full-time team of three people. We have about half a dozen uh, contractors, which work, some of them, um, half-time or even more. So all of that needs funding. So we try donations. So yes, mm, well, thank you very much for everybody who donated, and we really appreciate it as uh, very highly. Um, it didn't uh, bring enough funding to be full time on that. So we tried documentation subscription, selling the documentation. So that allowed already one staff member to work full time. We did some service offering like development, consulting, support services. But then um, 
really what quicked off the funding and allowed to, to grow the team and to uh, go in the long term is the subscribed and paid members. So we have two levels and for that we developed a plugin which is uh, CB subs and since we developed it for us secure, stable and everything um, we decided to release this as well as a commercial plugin um, which is there to fund Community Builder. And finally uh, we're doing some template sa um, sales and development together with template designers and uh, also offering some hosting service at the same level of security reliability than uh, for ourselves. So we offer two memberships plans which have a lot of things inside. We have um, 15 add-ons with a GPL license forever for all sites, group drive, maintenance releases, advanced support, forum, for all sites, unlimited number of sites um, with priority support only for 50 euro per year and then only for 25 euro per year more we get guaranteed response time um, for same or next business day for an unlimited number of sites so that's also very cheap we also have 23 and incrementing incubator CB add-ons which are also have unlimited license with GPL and all privileges of the app advanced membership. And with a certain percentage of the community um, subscribing to that, it allows to easily fund uh, our all our free work and free support on the forums. This is just a list of the add-ons, captchas, Facebook Connect, Twitter Connect, gallery profile, book with uh, wall, blog, and guest book, a privacy plugin for setting the privacy individually, uh, of the fields for the users, Ajax file and text fields, rating fields, and so on. Incubator add-ons, which are for professional members even more. <laughs> As you cannot read that, maybe this one is better. It goes from CB Connect that we'll be presenting a bit more because it's an absolutely awesome plugin um, which will be part of CB 2.0 that Kyle has been writing over the last years. <laughs> Um, which is already available today in the incubator for professional members. Then we have blogs, invites, Virtumart integration for synchronizing Virtumart users with community builder users, alpha users points, email integrations, queries, and so on. Um, conditionals, which are, is also very an amazing one, which allows to have conditional fields, multi-step registrations, also included in that one. Incubator products, most of those, uh, almost all of them, those have been developed by Kyle. Um, and uh, there is more to come. Okay, templates um, for Joomla, which are more community oriented. And hosting uh, at really top level security, it's professional hosting with a cluster. Um, of servers actually in three data centers on two continents <laughs> with full redundancy failover um, so it's a high availability hosting that we use ourselves for zero downtime and finally CB subs which is a membership subscription solution which is a really special plugin which was created for our needs um, to handle payments memberships as its name says <laughs> and to turn any uh, Joomla website into a money making machine which uh, protects any Joomla content components um, has really robust and um, wide access control it has an ACL system which runs on all Joomla and Mambo versions um, which has a very fine ga grained ACL uh, integrated so no need for uh, any third-party ACL and we have our own API for that and it comes with about a 15 integration plugins CB subs architecture is to have CB subs running on the CB API which runs on Joomla or Mambo 
and which integrates with Joomla extensions with plugins. And it integrates with uh, quite, quite a few um, services as well. And it allows to get, or to give actually, different privileges to different users depending on their memberships. And um, today we are announcing CB Subs as a world premiere, 1.2 which comes with smart promotions. Um, we'll be seeing some use cases of um, those smart promotions in the next talk, and I will be demoing um, also uh, what can be done, but it allows to do promotions, discounts, coupons, based not only on uh, a, a fixed discount, but uh, personal ones, um, based on s memberships of time since when you have the membership of the expiration date hey uh, your membership expired two weeks ago please come back we give you an additional 30 percent discount with that coupon if you subscribe for the next week so that's implemented completely in that promotion plugin which um, is probably one of the most flexible most advanced promotion engine that is found on the web today. CB subs and incubator projects have been our lab, our research lab over the last three years for CB 2.0. CB 2.0 is a really major uh, community builder release that we have been working on since three years, um, developing testing, stabilizing uh, the components for Community Builder 2.0 within CB subs and within incubator plugins. Because of the large user base and large installed base, we couldn't just experiment in, in, in CB itself. It was just much too large to, to take any risk for the user base. So we did it in smaller projects. Uh, well, CB subs is not that small anymore, so <laughs> we has, have stopped experimenting in CB subs itself now. But um, inside CB subs, there is a the new f CB 2.0 framework today, and it's used in CB subs on uh, a lot of the websites. Um, so it's stabilized, it's um, secure, it's well. Uh, typical Joomla Polis stable release. <laughs> um, and it really uh, it introduces some very cool technologies um, which have been a personal research project over the last three years for web application development. It has a new XML driven formal desc descriptions technology. It means the implementation is not done with PHP code anymore, but with a description of the user interface, a formal description of the user interface. And there is a, uh, a framework which then um, interprets that formal descriptions and acts to render the web page compared to that. And the entire backend administration area of CB subs, which is about probably four or five times larger than CB, is implemented 99% through that formal description and 1% through about 300 lines of PHP code which are um, specific to CB subs. So, um, so that's one of the areas which is going to flow into CB 2.0 usable in back and, and front end. We use it in front end invoicing address and VAT forms as well in CB subs. The second part which will be going into CB 2.0 is the layered MVC. Um, I will be talking about those two things uh, in a bit. Main features, new features of committee 2.0. First of all is a new look. <laughs> it's a new design. Um, and the new template templateability with a new Web 2.0-like user interface. A lot of AJAX, actually, all the profile updates are AJAX-driven. 
Um, it integrates a lot of our incubator plugins. It has a new rendering engine, which is fully MVC templatable and overridable in, new in Joomla templates. This is a standard Joomla way. It has a new data and relations engine with um, also a, a research project's result um, with a SQL compiler. So there we, um, we do compile this SQL queries to get to the data from the database um, in multiple step, extensible steps. Uh, it's a bit complicated to explain <laughs> it right now, but uh, we are already using that in CB1.4 um, for users lists. So typically plugins and fields can extend the search criteria of CB1.4 lists. And that engine will be used uh, throughout CB2.0 uh, uh, SQL query. Um, then the administrators have more possibilities to give more controls to members on how the, the profile looks and displays. We'll be moving to PHP 5.2 requirement, MySQL 5, and Joomla 1.5, 1.6 requirement, and an easy upgrade with an automatic uh, database model um, upgrader that is already in use in CB1.4. In the admin area, it will be also easier to set up um, with an entirely rewritten administration area, which is XML driven, which allows a quick configuration uh, with um, predefined use cases. So a one-step setup of a social site or another setup that uh, can be done efficiently, but uh, with m even more flexibilities. This is uh, one of our new uh, user profile templates and the look of CB2.0. That's also a world first here that we're showing. Uh, group Drive 2.3, which is now available on the for, for all advanced members, will be integrated um, into CB2.0 as well for the core part, keeping the extensibility through the Group Drive plugins. So it allows photos, videos, wall, event management with atten I attend, I don't attend, I might attend, might attend, menus and informations as well, files, uploads for groups. And uh, it integrates that XML um, technology that we have been using in CB steps. Also the uh, memberships levels management part, core part of CB subs will be going to CB 2.0 so that um, there are multiple different membership um, that can be managed uh, in CB 2.0. Now, um, just to give one quick example. Now this this table here, which is a, t a CB tab manager in the backend of of Joomla, um, in Community Builder 1.4, it's around 2,000 lines of code, 3,000 lines of PHP code, just to implement that one. In CB2.0, that's a CB2.0 version, there is zero line of specific PHP code. Now, how is that done? That's done with a formal description. I don't know. Of, um, of that table. So the formal description says that that's a view part. There's a formal description for the view, there's a formal description for the controller, and there is a formal description for the model. <laughs> now that's just a view tab. It says that's a view, which is show tabs, um, which has a, uh, a toolbar, which has a close button. It has a table browser inside, 
with a table menu to create a new plan a new uh, tab it has quick search fields the quick search searches on title description and on tab id which is an integer which by the way does all the sql cleanup and um all the the sql queries automatically compiled from that formal description at runtime <laughs> which means there is no sql vulnerabilities possible here because it's automatically compiled so it's automatically escaped depending on the on the type then we have filters we have a filter by position ordering by position ordering and then we have the fields which are shown in the columns the id the title description the plugin name here we have a uh, data which is remotely fetched for getting the name of the plugin which handles the tab then we have enable which is a check mark with a on click toggle user groups positions and that formal description renders that way it's a standard Joomla table now I change just one parameter in there um, for instance here I say that this table um, of course I need to change something somewhere where is that I did show that yesterday to me ah no. I show somewhere in there okay well let's change something more trivial a description um, if you see here is the title is description I just change here description of tab I save it I reload that one and now we have description of tab here <laughs> so um, typically it, it and it, it runs like for instance I can click on published for user status here and now the user status is unpublished so it, it, it runs the normal way that you expect in Joomla but the interesting thing here is that this is the implementation for the Joomla look and for the Joomla behavior of that table. But since it's a formal description <laughs> of the table, I can do an implementation using uh, jQuery, for instance, uh, um, a plugin for tables. So um, I'm showing here the standard Joomla way, but um, in the future we will be having very fun um, implementations of that formal description. The interesting thing is that um, this this thing, this, this XML, it has been used um, throughout CB subs. So if I go now to CB subs administration, I made it a bit big so that you can see. Now all this, all this, all this menu, this this graph, this table of sales, these menus. If I go to plans here, for instance this table all of that is fully XML description here I can for instance go to edit a yearly recurring plan now here we have the status all of that is XML driven there's no single line of PHP code for that we have tabs we have we have plugins for instance for tags we can set workflows uh, we can set the pricing now for instance I can say I have a different uh, we have tooltips different first period oh yes here I have of course I have to set a price here automatic ah. validations okay <laughs> so all of that is automatic uh, from the description and all plugins of CB subs use the same thing it's a, so it's extensible there is inheritance there is a lot of concepts that we have been um, experimenting and implementing and testing and validating in CB subs now uh, 
instead of having two to three thousand lines of code that repeat and repeat and repeat <laughs> all over Joomla for the backend of Joomla or you repeat in CB for the backend of CB, you have like 50 lines of code, 40 lines of code, which is descriptive. And all the interaction saving uh, validations are done uh, according to the description. So it means that um, it's very efficient for developing. And that will be part of Community Builder 2.0 for free, available to third party developers as well. And we believe that there is no such web application implementation today on the web. So we believe that's a really breakthrough technology that has been developed here and that is flowing into Community Builder 2.0 for free. Another thing which is quite breakthrough is CB Connect, which is available now on the incubator, which allows not only to log in, but to, to, to sync with Google, Facebook, and open social applications. That will be bec uh, is ready today, and it's uh, going into CB 2.0 um, core. And um, let me give the mic now to Kyle for a few minutes to explain you a bit more what's inside here and um, why I'm so excited about CB Connect and uh, the, the open social technology that we'll be bringing into CB 2.0. Uh, many of you may or may not be aware that CB Connect does work with Facebook, it does work with Twitter, it does work with Google. Louder? Can you hear me now? Okay. Uh, many of you may not be aware that CB Connect does work with Facebook, does work with Twitter, does work with Google. Um, the difference, it uses open social technology. There is absolutely no PHP end from Facebook, from Twitter. It is purely open social. That allows a zero conflict atmosphere when using uh, other Facebook applications. If you have a Facebook module for liking pages, for instance, you no longer have a PHP conflict, which you may experience with existing Facebook Connect standalone plugin. Um, in addition to that, it allows you to easily load. Uh, friend connect or Facebook connect uh, type of gadgets. Uh, many of you may be aware that Facebook has social plugins for easily adding like, easily adding comment uh, type extensions to your site. This can easily be accomplished through a field. A new field type has been added once CB Connect is established and it's called uh, Facebook uh, gadgets or Facebook social plugins and uh, friend connect gadgets. Um, adding these field types is one or two clicks and you've instantly have Facebook commenting on user profiles. Um, to extend on even further, fields can be substituted. So you could take a comment field and place it in a module using the CB content module. So there's many applications for this. And you may be wondering what this has to do with CB 2.0. Well, we're wanting to implement this directly into 2.0. No longer being a standalone plugin, but be a part of the package immediately. So everyone can use it. And as you can see directly from the back end, or through field management, it's just a matter of selecting which social plugin or which gadget you want directly from the drop down. All of them are separated by scope. The scope is very important as it determines the target for the gadget. Um, selecting ID generally refers to a uh, user's profile. So selecting uh, comments under ID means the comments will be linked to that user's profile and only that user's profile. So each profile will have their own Facebook commenting. Let's 
Uh, and there's, there's more to come. I'm still working on expanding it even further. And uh, this is available now. It, it is a part of the incubator. And the incubator is very important as it's our test bed. We use this to get user feedback, to test new features. So it's very, very important that we know how you feel about CB Connect or any of the other incubator projects because it's very likely they'll be pushed to the core. I think uh, he wants to take over. Yeah, thank you. So, so CB, CB Connect um, allows basically to put content from Facebook, from, from Twitter, from um, Google Gadgets, and from any open social compatible site into the user profiles of CB. <laughs> it also allows to put those contents into modules of Joomla using CB content. And using the CB uh, content bot, content, uh, Joomla content plugin, you can f place those um, gadgets from other sites in any Joomla content. Adding a commenting field from Facebook uh, or from Google, adding the wall, adding, um, there are like 40 now gadgets that are already implemented in CB Connect, roughly, roughly, quite a few. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really amazing, I mean, um, if we go back here, um, we Here, uh, for instance, for Facebook, we have comments, live stream, name, profile picture, picture, user status, face pile, like button, share button, activity feed, recommendations. All of that can become a CB field on the user's website. That way, the social interaction stays on the website. Doesn't have to go to Facebook. So. Um, it's it's a way to link websites together and and see and community builder 2.0 um becoming open social compatible means that you can link that community builder site to other open social sites so uh, that will be the first um component of joomla uh, with open social compatibility to the best of my knowledge so um there's a lot of work that has gone into that and um, that's that's very very exciting. I might during the break do I might be do a demonstration. We have a very slow internet connection here right now, so I'm not trying going to try to do the demonstration right now. Well, all of that is done. Actually, um, what remains to done to be done until we release Community Builder 2.0? Um, we need to move the new framework and engines from CB subs into Community Builder. Actually, they've written in such a way that um, this is going to be pretty fast. We need to refactor the incubator plugins and group drive core into Community Builder. Um, we have a bit of work on the backend to integrate that with a new backend XML-driven engine and uh, to integrate a few of the new group drive integration plugins with uh, the new CB fields which go with Community Builder 2.0. We have a few more CB templates that we want to make in addition of the one that I showed before. So we have a call for template designers which is coming up and that we can start today. <laughs> um, so if you're a template designer or a designer and you would like to contribute to that open source free project, um, it's time to chime in and to to contribute a, uh, a template um, because you want to ship Committee Builder with uh, 2.0 with a few core templates like we did for Committee Builder 1.x. Then we need to test it, package it, and just release it. So um, it's not that far anymore. There's a lot of work which has been done over the last three years to prepare all of that while releasing all plugins and community builder releases and um, we are eager 
to have that released and used because we believe that it will be bringing the social sites and memberships management um, to a completely new level. So um, I'm not sure if we are we answer all wishes that <laughs> that are there for community builder. We we try to answer those that we see in our forum. Um, I would like to thank you for for listening to that first this first part. And if you have some wishes or questions, we have some time before we go to the second part. Any question? As soon as possible. <laughs> um, if you ask me, you have to multiply by a factor of two or three. If you ask Nick, you need to divide by a factor of two. And usually I like to listen to Nick, but he didn't yet say what release date he's, commit, uh, he's expecting. Um, I don't, I d we are not talking about years anymore. <laughs> we spent already years. <laughs> we, need, we need to put it together to test. Uh, typically, uh, um, just to say, uh, um, a testing cycle for a normal community builder release is about one month, roughly, of testing. Um, the testing itself for community builder 2.0 uh, will certainly go through a RC step as well. So uh, we are talking about two to I would say at least two months of testing before we tag it as stable. And uh, we are also talking about a few months before we get to that stage. So putting those things together is uh, has already started actually, but we need to finish it. We need to, we are meeting the fir three of us the first time in history here. I never met with, okay. I'm not talking of winter. I'm talking of as soon as possible. But it's, it's a matter of months, not of years. I'm not going to be more precise. We are very eager to release that. But if you want to have Community Builder 2.0 features now, you can have them today. Just become professional member for f the 75 euros. Get the incubator plugins, run them on Community Builder 1.4. Get CB subs, have the memberships level, and you have about 80% of Community Builder 2.0 today. Sorry? Yeah. Yes. There are the and 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 although it's called incubator, all incubator plugins are in a stable state. They're not beta or RC release. The name is was chosen because it was beta when we started it. No, as you are used between. Well, we are not guaranteeing it. Incubator projects, we are not guaranteeing it like we guarantee for CB and CB add-ons. For CB and CB add-ons, we are guaranteeing it. For incubator, we are not guaranteeing it, but we want to make it as easy as possible. It Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yes, but, but we will be starting the backwards compatibility at Joomla 1.5. We are not going to go to 1.0.1. Mambo, it might work. It might run. It will probably be running. But we are not going to test it at each release. If you find a bug running there, we'll be happy to fix it. If you, or, or actually not fix it, but to, to implement the fix that you propose. But we are not going to actively test it again because um, I mean we we already now have troubles finding testers for uh, Joomla 1.0 and for Mambo. <laughs> so. so uh, um, we have to do ourselves some testing on Mambo before releasing a CB release today <laughs> because we don't have any testers anymore for 4.5. <laughs> but um, it shows the commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
So um, we are extremely excited and uh, looking forward to release that as soon as possible. Um, which time do we have? We have five minutes left. So, so yeah. I am not saying that because I'm not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we have users which have tried them all and which say that it's by far the best they have been finding up to now. By far the best. Um, it's. Sorry? You you don't need to use it. You don't need to use a social site and have CB features enabled, but you need to have Community Builder installed because we are using the Community Builder framework. But you can leave it with the standard Joomla fields and not use it with any plugins. You can disable most of the core plugins as well. We are using Community Builder because we are using all the registration process of Community Builder, um, and well, and we are using the API. Yes. So, so it's it's compatible throughout Joomla, and it's extremely flexible. It's extremely extensible. Um, it has integrations to SQL databases, to uh, remote procedure calls, to uh, most components which are popular in Joomla. Um, it is a huge. It's a huge uh, featured subscription plugin, which is fully automated. It runs not only Joomla policy since uh, over two years, uh, fully, fully automatically, including refunds, including uh, chargebacks. It runs with multiple payment gateways. Um, it handles auto-recurring payments. Um, it has a lot of things, and we will be talking about that in a few minutes um, with Nick's presentation. So if you are here next, in the next hour, in this room, you <laughs> you want a break? Okay, so we make a maybe a five minutes break so you can grab some coffee, bring the coffee back here and we start over. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>